Okay, first things first. If you like me, but don't like Google, I have now a Vidme account. I have most of my new videos in there. Be sure to follow me at vid.me. Link is in the description. Okay, now that I have all the ingredients ready, I'm going to start by putting my safety gear on. And after that, we are ready to start. I'm not going to put the gloves yet, because this is pretty harmless when it, the sodium hydroxide is in its powdery form. I'm going to put... maybe that's enough. We're going to start small. If anything goes wrong, it'll be easier to clean up. Next, I'm going to get my gloves and we shall see what happens. Okay, the first experiment will be, can I even melt the sodium hydroxide? I'm going to use my blowtorch and try to get it to melt. It should be fairly easy because uh, sodium hydroxide has a melting point of just above 300 Celsius. Okay, future me here. I've sped up the melting process of sodium hydroxide. In real time that took around 10 minutes, so I'm not going to bore you here with that. After managing to melt the sodium hydroxide completely, I tried adding a tiny amount of sand into it to see whether or not it would react. As we can see, there was a gentle bubbling going on, from which we can see that yes, there was a reaction. After heating the reaction a bit more, I decided to add more sand to it. After heating the reaction mixture for a while, I decided to add a lot more sand to it. The reaction seemed to halt, so I decided to add some more sodium hydroxide to it. After I barely managed to melt that down, I decided to add some more sand to it. That was a bit of a mistake, because now I had a lot of sand and sodium hydroxide that I couldn't keep warm enough with only the blowtorch. So this is now what I am left with. Uh, this looks like solidified goo and it doesn't melt or even turn into a semi-movable stuff. It's a, just a chunk. So now I'm going to wait, it, uh, wait for it to cool and uh, then we shall see what happens. After fiddling around a bit, I decided to dissolve everything into water and then evaporate it, so that I could have a fresh start to reheat it again. After getting bored of the blowtorch, I decided to get help from the portable stove and use that to evaporate the water. After the water had evaporated, I used both the stove and a blowtorch to heat the reaction mixture as high as possible. And now back to the past me. I have now blasted the reagents with full force of the blowtorch and the full heat of the hot plate so that it has been most likely heated to enough temperature that the rest of the reagents that would react have been reacted. Be sure to rate this video and consider subscribing to this channel so that you will be first notified when new videos come up. Thank you for your view and bye.